Hello and welcome to this Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm Geek one and today we're going to take a look at how you install another op operating system, Linux. Um, today we're going to look at Linvo. It's a great operating system. I just tried it. I haven't looked at it so much, but we're going to try it out. Um, if you want to follow along me while I install it, you can do that. I'm going to pause the video for some stuff, but yeah. So I'm going to use 4 gig. <coughs> create the hard drive and the standard and the fixed size and about 8 gig and I'm gonna create it and this might take some time so I'm gonna pause the video here okay now that's finished we're gonna go and uh, click create here and create and then we're gonna go <coughs> on start this and click next and choose the ISO file I will have the link in the description box for you on the Linvo home, home site and uh, website excuse me I have rather bad English <laughs> English ah, this is bad and um, start <coughs> start here we go so here we go and I'm gonna choose English here and we're gonna go for try without change your computer or whatever <laughs> and it will have some errors because I'm using the virtual box um, yeah so let's wait for this mm -mm. Virtualbox is rather slow. My CPU isn't that full. Hmm. How much? Oh, here we go. Um, this is Linvo. Um, we're gonna go and install it right away. It has Chromium. As oh, it, that's nice. And uh, let's just install it. I'm rambling on. Um, so now we will get to the installation process, and we're gonna go on time and choose your time zone mine is Europe and I'm living in Sweden so I'm gonna choose Stockholm and there we go I'm gonna cancel that uh, apply this and it will be green there <coughs> and choose uh, language I usually use English but it's my keyboard so I will use Sweden so it will go as my keyboard so I don't have to fix that later and uh, maybe Swedish will be rather strange for you guys but I will explain if it's any weird stuff so now we're gonna do the portions you're gonna click modify portions and you go into gear hardware and you click on the device create portion table and apply and now you can click new here and I'm gonna click uh, about 7 gig and you click on the file system here and click on ext4 and your label will be uh, let's see if it works no it's still English table so and it will be a forward slash and click add and on the rest you click new and rest there I'm going to do a swap area and just add it and then we will say ok and push the green right button here and apply and it will change all I believe it's all fast yeah there we go so close this <coughs> and now we can close the partner and now we have the version box here so go select portion do you want to proceed? yes and your user um, you can't have uppercase so just lowercase 
um, password and again and you have to change your password password for your roots just type something in here and we're gonna go apply and apply and your software you can use basic core or full um, I'm gonna go full fire full <laughs> because I want to test the software and apply here and launch Lingo installer do you want to proceed? yes I do so this will take quite a while to install so I'm gonna pause the video here okay now the installation has been finished so now we just click yes here and it will reboot and we're gonna have to unmount I believe the CD. Yeah, it just runs on the CD here. You click right click down here and click on the isolino here and shake this off. And it will start over, I believe, or you have to start it over. I can just shut this down. And, and we'll just start it again here probably work maybe yeah here we go so now we have the ground install so just click enter here so to launch the menu and we get the same error here let's see if it works yeah it starts <coughs> so here we go it started up so here's your desktop with all the stuff um everything seems to be working in VirtualBox, that's good. Um we have the Chromium as the web browser. So I'm gonna do Google here. And that's run nice. Um I will look into Opa. And we will have uh, calc food uh, programs. So here we go with the programs. Um, you will have on the graphics. You will have it looks like GIMP. Yeah, you have GIMP, and you have let's see some more stuff. Oh, you have Dropbox already installed. That's really convenient. Uh, let's see. We have oh Skype is also ready installed. That's really good. And we have some open office ebook reader. Hmm. And we call my desktop. <laughs> That's really nice. Programming. Oh you have code blocks. That's a really nice ED. Um <coughs> not that many games but that's like whatever. And uh, Gearparter and yeah, it has some nice applications from the beginning, I like that. Um, so yeah, this is Limbo, it's a great operating system, I think. I really liked it, and maybe even start using it on one of my computers. It looks really great, I have to say. So this has been uh, the Limbo review and installation. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them. And um, I will have all the links to the Limbo and VirtualBox in the description. So this is the review. Thanks for watching. Yugi, one out.